What is going on, guys? Wiser here, bringing you the recap of one of the last wars for Invicta. Um, actually, I should say I'm bringing you the recap of one of the last few wars for Invicta. Uh, I've actually been out of the clan for uh, a few days at least now. Uh, missed the last couple recaps. Just I'm out helping uh, the Chicago Live clans uh, gear up and get those uh, get the scrim clans leveled up to, so they can have all level five clans for the live event. Um, so they're kind of taking everyone, and uh, it's really nice kind of timing because we got that experience bonus going on right now so they're just filling things up and uh, they could use some help so I brought my tent over he's kind of hanging out there but wanted to come back because Invicta did have a, a supposed to be a ranged matchup this weekend last weekend I should say uh, that ended up getting sniped um, not on purpose or anything but by winter never came so I don't know if anyone has any uh, background knowledge about that clan but uh, is what it is so it was unfortunate that we matched up against them uh, and we'll just uh, kind of go in and check out what happened over these last few wars. So they did, uh, Victor had three in a row after, the last recap I did was this KC Chiefs war. Uh, had a few Chinese, uh, I think they're Chinese, sorry if I'm wrong, uh, farming clans. Obviously these guys didn't even try, no CCs, nothing, 5% destruction. So that wasn't even very interesting. Uh, next one was a little bit better, um, but I'm uh, not too concerned about missing that one either because uh, it wasn't really too interesting as well. Uh, these guys made, gave it a little bit better shot. He had 1.25% destruction. Uh, there was maybe some little fishiness going on in there with a couple of the guys. Um, you know, the old 0% hit and then the 3-star and then same thing with Nina down here. 0% 3 star, but uh, only a couple of them, so no big deal. Not going to complain. Uh, Cousin Victor just uh, ran the board. You can see we got uh, twos on everything except for that guy right there. Uh, a lot of Town Hall 11, so we didn't have many Town Hall 10 3 star shots. This was sort of like a brand new. It had one Inferno. Uh, I'll show you that replay, though, but clean the board all the way down. So really nice job, gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, I should say. I do have a few ladies in the clan uh, these days, obviously. Uh, it used to basically just be... First, back in the day, it used to be just Jen, and then it was just QC. I guess Jamie, sorry, I can't forget Jamie. Jamie was always always there, but then Jamie left. It was just Jen, and then QC joined, and then Jen left. So really just QC, and then we got Jamie back. We got some other uh, female clan members, which is absolutely awesome. Nice to see that diversity in the clan. They keep us guys in check, that's for sure. Um, anyhow, moving on here, it's just... Uh, uh, check out a lot of these were very very low level bases and victor had uh just trying to fill up the wars right now to take advantage of the experience bonus um yeah so let's check some of these out 31 mikhao without his king so in the cc you're gonna see a max pekka come out which is absolutely awesome uh, brings the two golems, Max Pekka and the CC, uh, with 22 Hawks. Basically basically a Goho using the uh, Pekka as a king substitute. <clears throat> Wizards go down, creating that nice, easy funnel. I was talking about this in an earlier recap. If there's that easy funnel, guys, uh, see if you can exploit that. Because if uh, you only need three Wizards and a couple minions to create your funnel uh, and get everything moving right into the base, then you're looking pretty right off the get-go. So just look for those little things, guys. You'll see like Mikhail's doing here, double poisons down, taking care of everything. Queen's in there, mopping up those CC troops. In comes like a single lone hog on this cannon. Not sure what that was all about. Um, maybe trying to protect this wizard and minion over here for a minute. Uh, anyways, hogs are now all in. Uses the giant, do some tanking. Has those Golemites in there doing tanking. Nice little delay on that heal spell. Going to cover everything as it moves into this core. There goes that next giant a little bit off on the placement because that Arch Tower immediately started attacking a hog. I would have just dropped it right in the middle. You probably would have got all three tanky and then the Tesla's would have popped. Whatever though. Three stars is definitely imminent here. Queen triggers that bomb all on her lonesome. So fantastic job. Finally hits the ability up on her. One more heal is down. Keeping those hogs alive as they work through that core into that last compartment with the Tesla, Archer Tower, Air Defense, and Sweeper. Queen steps up, going to help out here in a moment. Clean up troops around the base. Mr. Pekka took a little bit of a walk, just having some fun over here by himself. Bunch of archers going in for cleanup. Nice save on that wizard. Has just all these cleanup troops all in his pocket right now, which is absolutely beautiful. Right? Pekka, like I said, is moving around, helping out. Archers are everywhere. Tree in the bag. Sex is sexy. Down is king. All right. Fly through these. I'm going to go back to work pretty soon here, unfortunately. Mm -mm -mm. LDP brings a very sexy little double jump. 
uh, Govo. Now, uh, Cold Blooded Action only brings two healers for his little Queen Wonk here. I thought that was very uh, ballsy of LDP, um, but really, really just gets great value out of just two healers. His Queen's going to step up, take out this compartment, continue to work her way through all of this trash. <clears throat> so Golem goes in, nice little Cold Blooded Golem. Already has the minions down there doing some funneling. Sorry about that. Uh, so funnels, funnels getting made, right? Uh, nice and easy funnel with the minions there. Uh, like I said, you know, just take it, guys. If you can, you can make it work. You should make it work. It shouldn't be the ultimate. I mean, if it, if it's a crappy entry, it's a crappy entry. But if it is a free funnel, you may as well look to see if you can exploit that. So he's got all these Valks in the base now. A little scary because his queen hasn't quite got there, but she gets there just in time because the poison goes down, helping out the heroes. Heal goes down, keeping those Valks going. Got another jump and another heal is going to drop here in one moment. Jump, 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 jump. There it goes. Jump goes down. Letting those Valks on into that CC. One more heal is going to go down right over this section. He's already got Hogs surgically in on all these defenses on the outside. He's going to drop one more heal right here. Oh, so would have dropped that heal a little bit earlier. Try and keep those Valks up because you know the Hogs are coming in too. They're going to get double bonus off that heal. But he doesn't even need it, right? King is in there without his ability touched. Queen is doing some work. Oh course <clears throat> sorry about that <laughs> anyways king's in there finally hits up that ability queen hasn't even touched her ability yet has still has a healer on her helping her out right he's taking damage from that arch tower so finally hits the ability loses a bunch of hogs to that double spring trap there but it still has so many more there's one archer tower to go down it goes beautiful all righty so that is definitely a tree star in the bag for LDP. Nice job, buddy. All right, moving up. What else I got to show you here? Hinraka, my man. <clears throat> so uh, one jump with three heals for him. Uh, he's going to offer that cold-blooded, um, or sorry, shattered entry, my bad with only six valves so it allows him to have 19 hogs still still a few wizards and the wall breakers right uh really difficult right to get about an eight or nine valk count and still feel like you have enough hogs for the base so uh sometimes i like to offer a five or a six number on my valks um and go from there maybe i was completely wrong about that shattered entry because i have a feeling it's max valks in this cc Am I right? Oh, I'm right. So a giant with some max Valks come out. So that's right. So that's how he compensated. So it was a cold-blooded entry. Uh, what I have been seeing is max Hogs and max Valks being taken by Town Hall 9s and CCs lately. Uh, it seems to be really beneficial, especially those max Valks to get in there and just start doing work. Like insane amounts of uh, damage coming out from those Valks. See, they're just shredding through buildings. As soon as they touch them, boom, down goes the Tesla. Down goes that queen, like instantly. It was just instant, you know? No delays whatsoever. Uh, queen's trying to chase that dragon. The queen... Uh, Dragon does get away a little bit, takes out the king, but it's no big deal. Does so all these Valks are going to clean up this compartment here. Sends in the Hawks from 3 o'clock down to 6. Just going to get surgically, start taking down all of these defenses. Has a few in helping that queen out with that expo. Just a beautiful hit. Two Hogs trigger that DGB all on their own. Just fantastic. One more heal spell goes down here for Hen. Still has a swag poison here to go. <clears throat> has a Tesla Wizard Tower. The only defense is remaining. Beautiful. Valks just got to burst through that wall. Look at that. Like, is that two Valks? Yeah, only two Valks. Only a handful of swipes, and they're taking down lava walls. Don't even know if those are the max Valks. Hard to tell. Anyhow, tree in the bag for him. Nice job, buddy. All right. What else we got here to show you? The 12. This is Jacob. Oh no, that's right. So here's this uh, here's this sort of brand new Town Hall 10. Now, Deathhopper is a brand new Town Hall 10 himself. You can see he does have the five spells, five main spells, um, but only level 30, 31 queen, uh, heroes, uh, right? Doesn't have the max Valkyries yet. So, uh, you know, brand new Town Hall 10 versus a brand new Town Hall 10. There's only a one level one Inferno in there. Uh, so 20 Valks, if you can get those Valks in on top of that Inferno quickly, they are just gonna rip through this base with these gold walls in there. They literally will like not even need one shot to get through those gold walls. So you're just going to funnel everything in here. <clears throat> Does not even opt for, for any jump spells. Got the four heal spells. Here, come the, here comes the CC. So poisons go down to help that out. 
<clears throat> how quickly those 20 Valks just rip through that wall like absolutely nothing. They're just as soon as they touch everything, just instantly dead. It's just absolutely nuts how quickly these Valkyries destroy things. Watch them go through this, uh, go through these gold walls here. <laughs> just boom, boom, boom. Uh, golems get in there. Valks kind of do a little bit of split, uh, split, but it's absolutely perfect. You got one golem with a chunk of Valks, and then it's one other golem with the rest of his Valks and his king on the other side. Queen's coming in from behind, doing some mop up. As you can see, this base is severely crippled at this point has one more heal spell just going to finish taking care of these valks i think it goes in about this 12 o'clock section there it goes keeping all those valkyries alive they do not stand a chance of dying really there's a whiz tower a super low level arch tower a few cannons right as soon as they get through these walls boom cannons dead boom next cannons dead just all this stuff goes down so so quickly to this new valkyrie ai <clears throat> so a little bit of a uh, little bit of a skew. They all go to the outside of the base. They're eventually going to meet up at this point, though. Really, there's only a, uh, some a few splash damage, one cannon, and this extremely low level arch tower to go. Boom, boom, boom. That will about do it for this base. Very nice hit, death. I'd call you DH, but we have a DH, so I don't have to call you death or hopper. Hopper, hopper, hopper. It is. It's tree in the bag. All right, awesome. Uh, I think I got one more I was going to show you. No, not in this war. Let's hop on over um, to the Winter Never Came War. Uh, so you know what? I was really impressed with Invicta. They did an absolutely fantastic job this war, war right? Two's on their 11s there. Two's on their top 10s. We had a TH10, a couple uh, TH10 uh, bully. So clean up that three-star there. Really gave these guys a run for their money. Now, um, only downfalls we had were these nines that we missed. One, two, and three. Because we had cleaned those up. That's tie game right there, right? And we actually had to use quite a few bullies. So I don't know. I think it's a very, it's a mental thing. Um, it happens. I've been there. When you end up matching up a clan like this, it's just like, ugh. Um, and a lot of guys just lose focus. Uh, so it happens. I get it. Uh, obviously unacceptable, but, um, you know, had we cleaned up those nines, could have made a big difference there. Uh, anyhow, I got a few really nice replays in here. I do want to show you. Let's start down here at number 23. Good old matchness going in. I think this is a stone. Yeah, stone goho coming in here. Old school attack. You know I love them. So three golems are in right on this queen chamber. Those two Teslas pop a ton, you know, a ton of point defense. Four cannons and two Teslas is going to get on this entry uh, with the queen, the king. A couple mortars in the process, right? Like just this little bottom square is a huge value. Um, you can see he did need the stone entry because that one golem is already shredded. Other one is almost dead. So still has that one in there that the queen's going to start working on. King goes in there, going to take care of uh, all that stuff. The was going right after that defensive queen, but his queen stepped up and took care of business ahead of time. So now that this queen chamber is taken care of, just going to work through the rest of this stuff. Jump spell is going to let everything into that core. Has three heals and 24 hogs to deal with the rest of this base, which kind of looks scary if you think about it. But so many cannons were taken down there. Um, the packet comes out of the CC. That is another uh, sort of issue there. But the the wizards are in there. The queen is in there. Uh, the packet does get a swipe off on the king, so almost kills it in one shot. Uh, that was the only unfortunate part of that. <clears throat> but Golem's still in there doing tanking, so he sends in the hogs, gets a single trigger on this bomb. Well, it wasn't even a DGB. My bad. Um, but they're just going to continue to start working now, sort of clockwise through this base. Has hogs in on multiple defenses now at the same time. Expo's going to go down. Everything's going to meet up here. Has one more heal for this last section of base. Just absolutely perfect timing on absolutely everything. Hogs are going to move in there. Just going to delay this heal for one more second. And down it goes. Take care of all that business, right? Gets another trigger on that bomb just perfectly. Heal is down, everything's taken care of, has even more hogs to send in for reinforcements. Clean up wizard on the outside, queen's in there doing work too. Very sexy hit match. Tree in the bag. All right, what else I got? 21, lime killer. So Lion brings kind of a really cool attack here. It's a cold-blooded entry uh, with cold-blooded Lalo, essentially. So it drops these minions. Um, the goal here now is to get... He's going to drop a jump spell right over this intersection by the town hall. Wants to get this air defense, the defensive queen, take care of the CC, and really just take care of like this little chunk of base. And if he does that, he's got four Lava Hounds with these uh, air defense all along the top here that... 
aren't very well protected. Now, a few of the a few of the points I would look at this, right? All these whiz towers are in range of these air defense, right? So there's no threat whatsoever. If you can just take care of what I talked about initially, like uh, Lime does here, four lava hounds are going to be in on these air defense tanking everything that is going to touch those balloons the nothing at all whatsoever is going to touch the balloons once everything goes in you're going to see how this plan, uh pans out <clears throat> queen gets in and out of the rage gonna help out boom down goes that air defense i was talking about see you later <clears throat> king's in there doing work defense queen is already down hits the ability on the king getting a little more action out of him queen's gonna get in there i think she even steps up with this little golem right here and takes out that expo in the process but their job is done so in come the lava hounds just like i talked about look at this so soaking up mines soaking up every single thing that is gonna gonna even be a threat to those balloons whatsoever blam ba blam everything's going down so air defense number one is down sends in the the, the third lava hound now <clears throat> eats up more mines just perfect timing on that uh, the lava hound number three and is about to send lava hound number four in on this back end early loon i like that too get it right on top of that mortar a couple more right in behind lava hound number four is in doing the exact amount of tanking that he needs like barely anything has touched these balloons whatsoever now this air defense did go down so uh, did, like like i said like the balloons just had no threat whatsoever once those lava hounds were in. Everything's going to move on over. Just a couple arch towers to go. Has a couple extra balloons. He's going to drop on these um, non-threatening uh, defenses for the for the air there. Take care of the rest of this, and it is clean up a time. Boom, cannon to go. Queen's going to get in there, mop some stuff up. Has a few pups up top doing clean up. There's tree in the bag for lime. Nice read, my friend. Alrighty, uh, it was 19, I think. Yeah, ogre. So ogre, uh, ogre brings uh, the same sort of idea here. Okay, cold-blooded quad lalo. Now again, the exact same goals are going to be met. Going to drop this um, golem in on the queen chamber. A few funneling wizards. Going to immediately open up this wall at the golem in. Then he's going to drop the king in behind. Let the king in. Queen in behind that to let the queen in, poison that CC, take care of all this queen chamber, and eventually step up and get that one air defense. This air defense right there is what he's looking for. Now, you're going to see how close this was to not getting it. You got to be very careful when you're going with a cold-blooded entry because it is just very risky, right? Like, the golem's already burst, so this king's already taking damage from those CC troops. Queen ends up getting in there, uh, hits the ability on the king, gets, a, gets him some life back, gets him into this compartment with all this high hit point stuff. Just perfect timing on the barbs and everything because the queen is just going to have enough time to work through this stuff and steps up and takes care of this air defense. So takes care of that uh, Tesla. <clears throat> she is under fire from the arch tower of mortar, so she only has a very short amount of time. Has to hit the ability on that storage, and then next building she locks onto is that air defense and perfect entry. Got exactly everything you needed for that. So lava hounds go in, right? Same thing. Two lava hounds in on this first air defense. Balloons in on all angles. Has three haste and three rages as well for this air attack. When you're going for a quad lalo, there is such a huge onus on your air being successful it is nice to have all those extra spells he didn't need to use a rage for his kill squad now i might have opted to with all that high hit point stuff because that queen would have ripped through that stuff so much faster but hey if you can conserve those spells you may as well ogre does a fantastic job of that so all the lava hounds are now in two air defense to go hastes in here right got to get uh, maybe a little preemptive on the haste there but what was nice is that although that tesla is not being tanked the air defense is being tanked by the hounds is in range it, those air defense ranges overlap so the hounds are going down very quickly but he's got just enough life on this one left in fact i don't even think that one burst because there is no defenses remaining gg for this base with a swag rage and a swag haste to go Beautiful ogre. It's tree in the bag, my friend. All right, so that was 19. What else did I have here? 12 or 7? I don't know. The numbers written down all jumbled all over here. No, it was not 12. So maybe just 7 I was going to show. Yeah, Jacob. 
My man Jacobs, guys, just a beast. Uh, I thought this was a very, very creative army comp, right? He breaks down every aspect he can of this base, really knows his distances and measures everything, right? Minions are into in the funnel, immediately drops that wizard in there, start helping create that funnel over on this side. Two more minions just doing work there as well. Wall breaker test is in, so the rest go right in. See you later, wall opens up perfectly. Golem goes in. King and queen are in behind. It's going to work their way into this compartment. Keep in mind, he's got two Lava Hounds uh, and 12 Balloons for the back end. So he's got nine Valkyries that are about to go in. Here they go. Just really wants to CC to make sure they lock onto that one Golem in there. Under the Poison, everything's looking good. Queen's going to step up, get a little bit of value once uh, she takes one more step up into that Rage. Bam, but bam, going to lock onto these CC troops and rip through them like nothing. Heal goes down, jump goes down. All these Valkyries go in, just immediately destroy that Queen. Going to continue to get work in this core. Really needs to get the Queen to step up though here and take care of this air defense which as soon as that expo goes down, she locks on over here. The Valkyrie, there's a couple of Valkyries in there too. King is in there. Boom, air defense number three is already down. So here come the two Lava Hounds already in on the last remaining air defense. Got 12 balloons. This base does not stand a chance. There is no way possible. Boom, down goes that last air defense. Probably didn't even need two Lava Hounds for that, but you always want to be safe when there's an air defense remaining. A couple balloons on the back end to distract that wizard tower from the main clump of balloons. Just perfect execution, Jacob. Very nice, my friend. Lots of cleanup. But lots of balloons. Beautiful. It's a tree in the bag. All right, so uh, like I said, you know, we had our struggles on the nines, but it was uh, one of those frustrating wars. Uh, so it is what it is. Uh, you know, uh, would have been nice to get our actual matchup in. Um, uh, you know, so hopefully uh, we'll, we will redeem ourselves next weekend. Uh, Invicta, keep at it, heads up. Uh, overall, was a very good effort. Uh, just need uh, need to work on some of those mental kinks and making sure we uh, we pull through for those Town Hall 10s and don't make them use the bullies like we made them use this war because uh, obviously that limits what we can do up top. And if we just cleaned up those 9s for the 10s and allowed our 10s a few more shots at these 10s, uh, who knows how the result would have been... Uh, no matter what uh, what the other clan chooses to do. Anyhow, guys, I think I'm going to call it an afternoon. i got to get back to work here. So that'll do it for your wisdom from Wiser. It's time to help bag that next tree star. Till then, I'm out.